Uh, we're going to somewhere where no one's coming to help us if it turns to shit. So we're looking around there at about 57 centimetres, up to 60 centimetres, which is a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's really happens that big. Yeah. Now, so if we go to Lewis, overnight up there. Yeah, and then back, move back, move down yeah. as it heads east. Yeah, move back east and see where we can get. Now I guess we can go either side there. That's your advantage. Then we can go either side if it gets really ridiculous, mm -hmm. north or south. Mm -hmm. I, I do like the Inland Kaikoura Road better because we've got more movement. Got enough uh, fuel for months, food, uh, enough uh, first aid, enough alcohol for at least four weeks. Um, we've got everything. So what makes this truck so special? Um, well, it's probably the only off-road truck of its kind in New Zealand. Better than all the New Zealand Army trucks. Um, got full diff locking. Mind you, the Army do have some six-wheel drive MANs now. So I may swap this for one of them late one night. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, it's got a 50 ton winch. Uh, this um, is a, uh, a tank tank recovery winch. Um, came off a, um, a tank in the United States, so from a, um, an army surplus place. So yeah, if, um, if you're still stuck after using this, it's because you've pulled everything out of the ground that weighs less than this. <laughs> Let's go home. So we just got for Christchurch heading towards Hander Springs. What's up there? Um, well, we've got a, it's quite a severe snowstorm being forecast. Um, I reckon it's going to hit. It's it's orange warning at the moment, but I reckon it's going to go to red. Um, the media are great at bandying around this 100 year event type thing. I don't know, I, I'm either I'm extremely old, I've been to a lot of 100 year events in the last couple of years, um, but you know, this is shaping up to be a 1 in 10 or 20 year event at least, and it's going to be the weather's going to be wild, it's going to be blizzard conditions, sub zero. Um, yeah, if you get stuck in the middle of nowhere, no one's coming in to help us. Um, well, it's just, uh, yeah, just in the last 30 seconds. There we go, boom. Boom, bada bing. Uh, it started. It just started. So, yep, there we go. All right, well, good morning. We are on uh, State Highway 7 right now. It's bloody cold. Uh, the road is completely closed and we're the only ones up here.
the latest here, Jeff? Um, well, we stopped at the uh, there's one single cell tower in this uh, works yard here, um, but it's pretty damn slow. So we're all trying to upload video and um, get our weather update. So it's just gone 4 p.m. and we are just outside Mount Lyford Village, and uh, the snow is really coming down heavy here. We can hardly even see where the road is. I'm the only one on the road, and um, the only one moving, and uh, roads closed and impassable, and we're the only ones out here, and that's what it's all about. We're the only ones seeing the show, and uh, that's fantastic. What's happening now? What's happening now? We can't see the road. Oh, we can't even see the road. We're definitely the only people moving. Um, we can't even see the road. Um, which, you know, could be a bit of a worry if I ran off the road, but I'm not planning on doing that. But, um, it's quite good because the snow's so deep now, it's kind of grippy. And, um, but I have no real idea where the fucking road is. I'm just guessing. So at some point, we're probably going to have to give up on this because um, it's becoming difficult to tell where the road is at all. It's not worth crashing in here for a fucking stupid ass reason that we can't see the road. I'll just back down to the flat if you can.
What's happening here? Uh, a bit of a shit fest. Everybody's stuck. So we've got to, we can't leave them out here. So we've got to get everyone out. Um, his car fell in the ditch and now his trailer's in the ditch too. So we've got to tow them out one at a time. We've just arrived at uh, Mount Lyford Lodge, can't go any further. Pal's gone out here, so we're gonna get a generator running off the back of the truck and um, feed the cable through and hopefully uh, get some Wi-Fi and uh, power restored. Oh, no, we're good. We've got to run this one, too. That one? That one, sorry. No, no, no. no, no, no. That fella here? Good. Just going to get the uh, Wi-Fi connected and uh, it should be sorted. Oh, no. Did you think you were going to spend the night in your car? Absolutely thought we were spending the night in the car. Oh my gosh, no. Well, it's Monday morning. Just awoken to this wonderful uh, winter wonderland. It's finally, finally stopped snowing, and um, as you can see here, there's a good 30 or 40 centimeters or of snow uh, down here. Now 8 a.m. in the morning or Monday morning, and. Uh, just as we thought the snow was done. Nope. Uh, I've just looked at the weather models and there's more to come. Uh, it's going to be snowing for a good part of today as well. So it's been a night, an unexpected night here at the lodge. And um, we're just waiting for the road to be clear um, so that we can hightail out of here. Um, but unfortunately there's no sign of it. We've still got no power. Um, and uh, as you can see, the snow just keeps coming and coming. 